Women FC TV with Adam Hinchwood looking ahead to Hungerford Town at home on Saturday. Just before that, Adam, look, we'll look back on the week that was Tuesday night, uh, 6 win over Dulwich Hamlet. How are you feeling after that one a few days on? No, yeah, obviously um, delighted with, with, with the performance, um, good scoreline. Um, and like I said before, it comes on the back of a bit of a, a tricky period for us and you know, seeing some players a bit low on confidence. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping that you know we'll that result and that performance will reignite um, one or two in in their confidence and um, we can show that again Saturday. Yeah, it's really tight up there in the playoffs, obviously. I mean that's put us back up to fifth, but there's still only about a point between teams in ninth and, and up to fifth. So how big is a result like that gonna come uh, at the end of the season? No, yeah, definitely uh, at that sort of time as well. Um, on the back of three defeats. Um, so yeah, it's it's come out a really good time and um, you know we knew that it was in us and we could perform like that, but um, you know, off the the, the run we was on to, to then go and, and do it was was even even better really in my opinion. So yeah, it's it's, it's good and like, all we can do now is just just focus on ourselves and and see um, you know try and try and replicate that performance. Try and um, be as good on the ball as we were. I thought there's some slick moves. Uh, we moved the ball quickly. Um, there was a lot more confidence in players wanting to get the ball as well. There was runs in behind, and you know it all stemmed from a real solid base as well. So, you know, to, to keep a clean sheet um, w was really important. And um, yeah, a similar sort of story. Uh, we scored quite a few goals in the league. I think we're up there in in terms of goals scored, but we're also up there in terms of goals conceded as well. So to keep a clean sheet, I think it's really important for us. Looking at Saturday then, um, hunger for town team that's obviously a little bit down there in this, this season so far, but they've been in really good form lately. They've won their last three. How do you approach a game like that? No, yes. Um, obviously, to keep uh, the lads' feet on the ground, you obviously want them to play with confidence, and rightly so, they should do. Um, but, but at the same time, know that we was playing with confidence in January, and then, you know, it sort of very quickly seemed to diminish away from us, and that's how quickly it can happen. So we've got to stay focused all the time, and um, you know, Saturday be no different. Like I say, they're in good form. Beat St Albans, went up to that game, and you know, the comfortable score line for them really. Um, and then St Albans come to us and, and scored five against us, and they kept a clean sheet against them. So you know, really um, don't give much away. Um, really strong outfit. Um, so. Yeah, we know we're going to have to be at our, our best to get anything from that game and um, they'll be keen to carry on the run to get themselves out of the position that they, they're in. So, um, real real tricky test. Um, but like I say, we focus on ourselves and, and, and try and replicate all the good things that we've done on Tuesday night. They were a tough customer when we went away there earlier this season. They leave November the 0-0 draw, but it was a time there was quite a few injuries in the squad. Do you think it would be quite a different approach from them in this game, considering the turf would be a bit different and the squads would be a bit different too? Uh, yeah, 100% it's a different different uh, test altogether. Um, going to their place, uh, you know, it's a, it's a tricky place to go to. Um, you know, um, so it could be a completely different test here. Um, and yeah, their, their approach I'm sure will be not too dissimilar. Um, you know, like I say, they're in good form as well, so they'll be coming here with lots of confidence and not looking to change too much of what they do. Um, so, yeah, it's down to us to, to really be at our best and, and find some consistency in that. And talking of the squad and the availability, who do you think might be out for Saturday? Obviously, uh, Ruben Austin was away uh, last Saturday. Will he be potentially back in the team this Saturday? Um, no, yeah, Ruben wasn't involved on Tuesday, uh, just simply because um, he was... Just uh, not selected to be honest. Uh, it's just a case of um, he's a young lad. He's come in and done exceptionally well, um, and just felt he was lacking a bit of confidence. So sometimes with young players, um, done the same with Joe Rye early on in the season. They had a little dip, and um, they need to come out and reassess it, have a little look from the outside, and not be thrust in in the action sometimes. And that can help. And I think it's helped with Joe, and hoping for a similar response with Ruben. But yeah, if um, if if needed, know that he's there to call upon. Um, but yeah, we've got some some very talented youngsters, and it's about managing them and and putting them in when they're when they're ready.